All right, I'm happy to be spending some time with you talking about the reciprocal identities of trig functions, and this is the beginning of, of trig. Um, I don't know what trig book you're using. I'm actually usually working out of Swakowski Kolb, and it's chapter five and six and, and part of seven. So this is what happens with most professors is that they get really excited, uh, where excited means nervous, about the fact that they're going to be talking about trig identities, and they're going to be talking uh, about functions of angles and all kinds of crazy stuff, the use of fundamental identities to prove things, etc. And we get so freaked out about that um, that we forget to, to really cover the basics with you. So if you've already taken geometry, or if, I don't know where you are, but if you think geometry, your geometry teacher talked to you about some of this stuff. It's really, really important that you bring this with you, though, to your trig class. So if you don't mind, let's go over this. Some of the stuff I'm hoping you already know, uh, I talked about in the last video, that, that sine of theta, remember theta, a lot of times you'll see it says sine of x or sine of a or whatever. Theta just means the angle that you're interested in, okay? So sine of theta, um, and it's this ratio, and we know that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? And we also know that cosine of theta, look, I shouldn't have made this capital, uh, yeah, capital, I should have made this lowercase, sine, and cosine of theta is equal to adjacent, isn't it, over hypotenuse, right? Uh, and how do I know that? And <laughs> it's embarrassing to tell the truth sometimes. How do I know? Because I memorized it just like you did. Uh, it just has to be memorized, and there's just no easy way to it. Uh, is actually opposite over adjacent. And we talked about this really quickly, but it bears repeating that if we're looking for sine, sine is opposite, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine, see, cosine. This is my mnemonic device. I, of course, didn't make it up. This was made up long before even I was born, and that must be freaking some of you out, some kind of dinosaur time or something. But is cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And lastly, that the tan ratio, sorry, the tan ratio is opposite over adjacent. So T-O-A, Sokatoa. Um, and I said it before, it's been used for a, a very, very long time. If you, you got to just have this memorized, you guys. So I beat this thing to death. But So hopefully you wrote that down. And if you, you're like, why the hell are you erasing it? You back up the video for a second and redo it. Because what I want to talk about is reciprocals. So... The reciprocal of sine, the reciprocal of sine, right? The reciprocal of sine is cosecant. Co secant. You're like, why are you writing in green? Because I put this is how I remember this stuff. Uh, is equal to check me out. And I don't, I don't have an acronym for this, so let me just avoid that. Is is hypotenuse over opposite. How did I get that? I took the reciprocal here. Right? I took this, I flipped this thing over. Right? And I'm going to do the same thing for the next one. Cosine, its, reci its reciprocal uh, its reciprocal is secant of theta. So it's secant whoops, no, let me write it this way. Is secant of theta. Now, I don't know if you're noticing or not, but this is how I train my mind to Remember stupid stuff, and uh, yeah, I shouldn't have said stupid, but to rem remember trivia that just has to be memorized. And tan, it's, it, this one works great because it's tan, its reciprocal is cotan. Well, that works out nice. It's, I mean, it's, its name is in its reciprocal, and it, of course, is adjacent, isn't it, over opposite. How did I get that? I took, I took the reciprocal here. So what it was in the denominator I put in the numerator was in the numerator I put down in the denominator, and I did the... Same thing here. This got flipped over, didn't it? All right. So, go back, and you're asking, hopefully you're saying, well, why did you write this in pink? Well, because I'm trying to remind myself. I'm trying to use little tricks, frankly, to remind myself of these things because it, the names don't necessarily make sense why they're the reciprocal of each other. So I have to play this stupid game in my mind to remember this. So you're like, okay, I'll never remember this. Look, man, you will remember, because frankly, you have to. Um, uh, oh, oh, this is kind of cool. 
what some people are doing now and I saw this, is they're making flashcards and I, you're like, I know, you're like, low tech and it is low tech, but they're making flashcards and then they're taking pictures of their flashcards on their iPhone and then they can go through their pictures and so, I mean, I'm sure there's a time where you have time to, to study math, like maybe when you're in English, <laughs> sorry, when you're in English class or something. So, anyway, so here's a reciprocal. The reciprocal identities, these are reciprocal identities, and they're just the obvious reciprocal identities. I'm going to follow, uh, finish up with this, but you have to memorize these, and they're real easy. This is going to be the pain in the neck part right here, but we can, these are reciprocal identities. We can say, you know what, sine of theta is the same as 1 over cosecant of theta, right? Why is that true? Because if I put... 1 over this thing, it would be a complex fraction. It would come up as its reciprocal again, wouldn't it? And what would we say about cosine of theta? Look up on the screen above you. Cosine of theta, if I was going to write cosine of theta as a reciprocal, and if you're asking me, why would you ever do this? Because we're going to do this, we're going to prove these trig identities, and we, we do. It's like you got to have all these puzzle pieces together, and these are those pieces. And if I could show you ahead like three weeks from where we're sitting right now, you'd be like, oh, man, thank God I, I did that. So I'm asking you to take my word for it. Anyway, so cosine of theta, isn't it the same as 1 over secant theta? And look, I forgot to write theta here, right? Secant by itself means nothing. It has to have, you know, a ratio of this angle uh, for that angle. So, okay. So then how would we express tan of theta as a reciprocal? Are you with me on this? These, I, I know you're seeing it. I'm going to finish this out anyway cotan of theta and then you can fill in the blanks right you can definitely fill in the blanks because you could say well what's true about secant of theta then so what's secant of theta right right one over sine theta okay i get you get it that's cool um and what is oh, so this is cosecant theta and what is secant theta secant theta is one over cosine theta isn't it one over cosine theta right okay cool and then cotan theta is the same as 1 over tan theta, right? And if you want more understanding, please let me know, and I'll give you some proof of this. And how I would do it is I'd prove it through complex fractions. The reason I'm not doing it right now is because what I'm trying to hook you up uh, to believing is that these are pieces that you're going to need later, and they're things you have to memorize. I'm begging you, make the flashcards, practice them at home, put them on your iPhone, I don't know, and oh, oh, oh. Help me with this. If you find like some really cool way of doing flashcards that I never would have thought of, can you like pass it along? Uh, uh, get, give me, uh, you know, tell me how you want me to give you credit for it. I'll give you credit for it. I'm not trying to steal your idea. But, you know, the better we can do this, the better we are at this. So, okay, I, I hope this is helpful. I'm asking you, I'm begging you to believe me when I tell you these pieces are the pieces you have to have. And if you have them, the rest of the stuff will be easy, easier. But without these pieces, dude, we're doomed. We are absolutely doomed so so work on this memorize this and let me know how i'm doing and if i suck you know take it easy on a person will you